Malayan water monitor was now coming up onto the path, flicking its tongue out and searching for its meal. I was worried that it was going to come onto the path and bite me. But, but with its food around, and it wasn't going to do that. Its food was a small squirrel or something. I got only a glimpse and no camera time is there of that. But it's but it was still a very wonderful Malayan water monitor. They are the second largest monitor lizard in the world. Old monitor lizard or lizard in the world. Old second only to the Komodo dragon. These can be... They, it's an honor to see this lizard just walking up onto the onto the path as I never really expected to see it at that particular moment. As it but it turned and from from the path and now is going into the underbrush. It is <clears throat> it is still lovely to see this lizard. These water monitors are often defined by the dark or dark brown or blackish coloration with yellow spots found on their underside. These yellow markings have a tendency to disappear gradually with age. This water monitor uh, has no yellow spots. It's, they have disappeared for it. I kept following it and following it until, until it was almost about to head. Into the, into the underbrush. That, uh, this is a very, very big lizard. Finally now, um, a bit of his body disappears into the underbrush. His head is now not visible anymore. He just goes in, into the, just goes into the underbrush and only his body and tail can be clearly visible although a bit of his head can still be visible now you can see only its tail as this as this monstrous creature disappears fully into the underbrush now we finally come to the spot of the second crocodile it's in the water where the arrow was pointing it's a lovely lovely it's a lovely lovely sight in the water now this one doesn't have its have its body fully visible like that previous one yeah that's because it's in the water but still it is a very up close encounter for me the estuarine crocodile also known as the saltwater crocodile or by the australians known as the salty these crocodiles are one of the most dangerous crocodiles in the world. Yes, they kill more. They kill more than a thousand people each year. <clears throat> yeah, they are. They have a wide distribution from Australia to Southeast Asia to the eastern coast of India. The saltwater crocodiles have a massive distribution. <clears throat> they are very dangerous and whenever people come close to the water, they can eat them. The Milky Stork is a new member of this channel, which has only one more video apart from this one. The Jurong Bird Park, which was not too f which was not which is not too old either. You should check the that video out. The link is in the description below. Oh, but these milky storks, orcs, but, they, uh, but to see them in the wild is a much more a different experience than seeing them in captivity. It's lovely. Guys, I, so we've had such a great adventure here at Sangi Bulo Wetland Reserve. We are searching for more amazing stuff. Two crocodiles, one very up close encounter with monitor lizards and many 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 birds so and now we are searching for like snakes bats monkeys i don't know which one out of those three we're gonna find but and we're crabs and mud and yeah and crabs and mud skippers are also there on the list so this yeah this trail is so beautiful
beautiful the trail we are going on and um, mm. literally it's the mo it's the trail with the most animals and uh, yeah so we have spent a good about 55 minutes here uh, and we are into it we are pretty good at here we are pretty nicely into it and yeah birds crocodiles lizards everything is here and yeah so we are heading towards more interesting parts of some ibulo over here there are uh, there's some random animal which is keep going on and on popping up to me they they look like the mud skippers mud skippers are fish are fish but they are the only fish which can come up onto the beach this is a mud skipper this one that you see here they are amazing they are amazing yeah true but they are small this is a water strider we have come to the dragonfly pond but we find a water strider the water strider is a new I member of I'm our family now strider. of the abate and animals channel now <coughs> oh, it's just s s swimming across across the water uh, doing well i don't know what but it's a great bird a great animal to feature another couple of milky stalks this milky stalk is looking like it's sitting with it yeah with its legs it's in l shape now now we are at a place called eerie tower which which you can see the border of India uh, of Singapore and Malaysia. Over here, there are a couple of egrets. It's this is it's a wonderful view from this tower of all the bird action which is going on here. Egrets and milky storks, or keep coming, and they are very very abundant here at the nature reserve, which is a good sign. The ecosystem is very healthy this because if, if the ecosystem was polluted, then I'm taking a shot of ten seconds. Then they wouldn't have come here. Four, five, six, seven, Singapore anyway eight, is not that nine, polluted. but it's great. Ten. You know, there anything here? It's really nothing. Sangi Sangi Bulo is a very very totally nothing. good place if you want to yeah, well, it's just see okay, totally and that we've already the seen. regular one. These over here are actually snails. They look like rocks but yes, there. they are snails. Over here a couple of minas as are well running across the path. 